Shamai guys, welcome to my channel, Star Avatar. Um, today we're going to be building a country house in The Sims. Since the last channel I've made a Tumblr account so if you want to follow me on there you can. I'm at Sarah-Avatar on Tumblr and I post some extra content on there so any houses that I build on Sims that I don't post, that I don't record, um, I'll still be putting photos up on Tumblr. I've I've already got my first build up on Tumblr that I did in Sims 4 and it's actually really nice. It's very different to the other builds I've done on The Sims so far. It's more of a modern, eco, um, underground house. So yeah, if you want to check that house that out just I'll leave a link below as well in the description so yeah right, let's get on with the video yeah so we're kind of going with I know last time we had a, a cottage and this time it's a country house so it's kind of the same style but it's a, a little bit more modern this one is quite a lot bigger as well as the last house was just one room okay, yeah I decided to put a conservatory at the back because love conservatories, I think they're so nice to have in the house. Love one in my house. Yeah, the idea of this house, I wanted to... It's kind of like old style English countryside. Um, I made it as if it's an old style country house that's been renovated. Not much, mind, but yeah. Oh yeah, I spent ages on this roof, as you can see, you're probably confused with what I'm doing. I wanted to put a skylight, I wanted skylights in the roof. Um, I'm not sure if you've seen Little, if anyone watches Little Simsy, but I watch quite a lot of her videos. And she makes these amazing skylights by like, manoeuvring the roofs in such a way that she puts the glass in the middle. But I was trying to do it for ages and I just couldn't do it. I don't know what she does. I'm gonna gonna have to work on that because yeah, I ended up with well, I was going to do try and do this style, like just a big glass pane on the roof. But even though I spent all this time on it, I ended up deleting it in the end because it just didn't suit the house at all. I think a skylight would have suited it because. Um, Quite a lot of houses in Britain, like a lot of the old houses have um, skylights, but yeah, oh well. Those windows on the second floor, oh gosh, they're... I did, because, because there was um, a house coming off, I found them really difficult to place correctly, so they worked with the interior of the house, like with the walls and, and everything. But they also look good in the outside. I found it really difficult. Yeah, this was annoying as well. I wanted one of those big windows because the windows I used in the conservatory was from the Eco Pack, Eco Lifestyle Pack, and the doors were from the same pack and I think they're kind of meant to match, but for some reason they didn't have the same swatches. Like they, um, they like I wanted to use dark woods around the house as much as possible, and the windows were in dark wood. But then for some reason the door only came in light woods and blacks. So yeah, I ended up just putting a big door there in the end that covered covered the whole thing, so you didn't notice the difference in colour as much. Yeah, by here I'm making the upstairs bathroom. Um, yeah, because it was like a funny shape by there, I thought I could just fill it by putting a bathroom. And I used the um, university shower to make like a water water closet, is it called? Yeah. A walk-in shower. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. As you can probably tell by the music. <laughs> This bit I found really difficult. I spent ages trying to do the kitchen because it's such like a strange shaped house that I made. Like it was all my own doing, but I really wanted it to be open plan, and I really wanted the kitchen to be there because I wanted the dining room in the conservatory. 
but I spent ages, it didn't matter where I put them, where I put the cabinets and stuff, they just didn't look right. I did get there in the end, but yeah, I was messing with it for ages and such, oh god. Yeah, because as you can see now, the characters don't look right. It's just deck trying to decorate the. I'd given up on the um, layout of the kitchen for a little bit, so I was just decorating it with some clutter. making a round table now. What's what that guy's name? Arthur on the round table? Is that? Yeah, that's my Arthur's Arthur on the round table inspired um, dining room layout. <laughs> Those floor tiles that I used in the kitchen, I like them because I really like stone, like natural stone flooring, but if I had a few more options I don't think I would have picked one with like that pinky colour stone in it. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm working on the layout of the... Oh, honestly, I spent so long. Like this isn't even the final layout. <laughs> I gave up for a bit, I was trying to work out what to do with this section. I decided to make another, the downstairs toilet by there, because I thought, um, actually that like funny, um, stairs area is actually a really good place to like, slip a toilet in and stuff, because you don't want to, you don't want to use too much good space just in a bathroom, do you? Mm. Yeah, I finished the, I finished the kitchen now, so the happy music's on, so I'm happy. <laughs> Honestly, that stressed me out so much. Because <laughs> the thing is, I feel like, um, especially where the kitchen was, I feel like it could have made or break the house. Like, if you don't get the kitchen right, the whole house looks off. I find it really funny because, um, I watch these people on YouTube, you know, like Americans, and they all say how, um, Americans call it a bathroom, whereas British people always just say, I want to go to the toilet. And that's true. A lot of British people say, I want to go to the toilet. But also, I think it's actually more common for people to say, I want to go to the loo. Which, yeah, I guess it's the same really, isn't it? Oh, I'm getting off track again. style if I'm honest like I really like that vintage old vintage could be in your grandma's house kind of look I don't know to me it just looks really cozy and like country-ish Oh yeah, that knight in armour doesn't stay there, I just put that there as a placeholder until I found something nice to go there. The, the corner just looked a bit empty to me. I love this flooring that, that I put down, I have to say. That is so nice. I love that flooring in like, oh gosh, a house that I lived in or something, my house. 
Yeah, just making a little study here and there. Because I think this is the only computer in the house it ends up being. And it's quite a big house, so. I have to say, I'm because with the last house, the last video that I made, I I bought the university pack, but I only bought it like did I buy it after? Or yeah, I think I bought it after I finished making the house in the video. So with this one was the first time I actually got to use the university pack. And I have to say, I'm so glad I got it. I actually love it. Like a lot of the things in there, they're very like um the very old dark wood kind of vibes. So Oh yeah, I, I loved it. I was just getting way too carried away using all the university stuff in this pack. Even, even the parts that I probably didn't really need to use, like that shower, because I don't know if that actually belongs in this house or not, but uh, I don't know. I, I, to be fair, I did buy the pack mainly for the shower, so I wanted to use the shower. Oh yeah, this section. I actually really ended up liking this section. Like, um, it's like, I didn't really know what to put here, so I kind of just wanted to do like a little display area and stuff. And I don't know if anyone watches. It's inspired by um, Lydia Elise Millen. She's a YouTuber. I'll put like her link to her channel down below as well. But yeah, her house, she's really into interior designer. Interior, interior design, sorry. And um, yeah, she has a house. She has like this massive house just outside London. And her hobby is to just do it up all the time. And it's amazing because she has such good taste. And yeah, I don't know. I love it. Maybe I might put a photo on the screen of what I'm talking about, where I got the inspiration from. Yeah, because I do really like that area. I couldn't decide what to put there though. So I really wanted I really wanted to put a mirror there, but um, they didn't have a mirror big, big enough, so I ended up putting that there. I didn't know what to do with this area by here either. I just ended up leaving it blank, I think. I did like the um, the little statue area I put next to the stairs as well of the gill going up. It was a bit artsy, but yeah. I thought it filled the space quite nicely. Yeah, here as well. I didn't know what to decorate the surface with, so I just got three of those wooden carvings and I sized them differently so it looked like they were like a trio yeah and now when I do when I do this upstairs layout now this is when I started having the issues because before I didn't like what the windows looked like at the front of the house what I mentioned earlier but after I put the walls in upstairs then I had like real issues because uh, that, was, that was another thing. Yeah, this room isn't really that exciting at the moment, so it's just kind of decorating it. I find it very difficult to get into bedrooms and stuff, unless I have, unless I'm making them for particular sims. Like, I feel like bedrooms have to be a bit general. Because you don't know who's going to look that. I do like the fact though that they give you those shoe stands and stuff and that, like, the coat hanger just to... Even though your sims don't use them, it's nice just to have, like... I don't know, I love how much clutter they give you in The Sims 4. Yeah, I put loads of perfume and nail polish on the woman's desk. I don't know if this is just me, but I feel like girls have a reputation for being simultaneously tidier than men and messier than men. It's like they're neat freaks, but they have way too much stuff and they just clutter everything up as well. I'm not tidy at all. I'm, I'm, I wish I was tidier. Yeah, now we've moved on to the kids' room now. Yeah, 
Yeah, I couldn't choose a dresser. <laughs> yeah, I designed it. I was thinking like there's probably like a girl and a boy. I put the pilot shirts on the bed. In my head, like um, he just done his laundry, he'd come up and like put his clothes on his bed, but he could not put them away yet. And also because they don't have much storage in their room, and there's two of them, I was thinking their room's gonna be like pretty cluttered with stuff because they've got nowhere to put anything. because I wanted to put the shoes down there and then just gave them a little clutter each. Oh yeah, and then it got to the pot pointing the bill before I realised I hadn't got any lights anywhere. <laughs> Yeah, that light by there, I really liked it, but it wasn't, it looked like it was kind of meant to match the one I had in the bathroom and everything, but it didn't. Like, they didn't have the same colour swatches, so. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. Here's the, here comes the window struggle. Thing. <laughs> Every time I laid them out so it looked okay on the outside, I'd look inside and they'd be like cut off by a wall. I was like, oh my gosh. You know, credit where credit is due for actual architectures. Like, um, this stuff, I mean, at least these, at least like, us simmers, we've only got to worry about like aesthetic, aesthetically pleasing things, but actual architectures, god, they have these issues and they have to worry about like structural integrity and all that nonsense. Oh gosh, I don't think I could do that. And then also you'd have to, you have to take the client's opinions into consideration too, wouldn't you? Notice I have not done one build in the sim so far that doesn't have a pool. Or no, it's not even a pool, like it is a pool, but a pond. Every single build I've done has a pond in the back garden. I told you we need those fish. <laughs> my pools are, my my things are looking empty, but this pool, well kind of thing. I did put like some stairs, so I don't know if the sim can like swim in it or not, I'm not sure. She should be able to. Don't see why. Yeah, I put some like um, a ladder by there so she could get into the pool. Oh, pond pool. I do think like ponds look so nice in the back garden though. Yeah. Just put a few rocks down. I didn't really bother to put rocks all the way around the the sides of the walls this time though, because like it is an actual pool as well, and she will be swimming in it. I didn't think it was necessary. Oh, there we go. I think it actually ended up looking quite nice. It's a bit of a lanky house, I have to say. 
if you look at it from the right from the right angle, it looks decent. But then if you look at it from the wrong angle, it just looks a bit peculiar. Yeah, I put some solar panels up as well because you know, save the planet and all. <laughs> and also, it's way cheaper, isn't it? It brings your bills down. Yeah, I wanted to put some chairs on the patio. I don't think they could use that. They could actually use that chair by the um, by the rock, but it looks nice, so they don't have to be able to use it. There's loads of seating indoors anyway, so they probably wouldn't even use it much. Mm. Yeah, I got a bit bored at that point. I just wanted to put some funny things in the pool. <laughs> the pig's my favourite. Can you imagine swimming? Can you imagine you went around someone's house party or something? Having a bit of a drinking or, and then you got in their pool and you saw that, you'd think you think you'd taken something. You think someone has slipped something in a drink. Oh, yeah. There we go. 